this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review The Djinn, uh, the second film directed by David Charbonnier and Justin Powell, which will be released courtesy of IFC Films, uh, May 14th, 2021. Uh, their first film, The Boy Behind the Door, uh, was on the festival circuit in 2020, uh, played at AFI Film Festival, and will be released theatrically in July of 2021. So their second film is reaching a wider audience than their first film uh, to date. Uh, this film is set in 1989 and concerns a young uh, prepubescent boy named Dylan, played by Ezra Dewey. Uh, one random night in 1989, he happens to see uh, his mother uh, commit suicide with a gun uh, to the head. Uh, fast forwards to later that same year in the autumn, uh, his father, uh, Michael, played by Rob Brownstein, has moved with his son to uh, an unassuming apartment in Burbank. Uh, he's an overnight DJ. Uh, while they're unpacking, um, Dylan finds an old book called The Book of Shadows, much like Blair Witch 2. Uh, and in it, he finds a spell called The Wish of Desire. And while his father uh, leaves for a shift of work one night, he reads aloud this incantation and uh, invites in the spirit of the jinn, uh, which is also, you know, kind of an Islamic or Middle Eastern figure, spirit like a genie, uh, where uh, he's allowed to grant one wish, or ask for one wish, but he kind of has to survive a grueling hour of terror uh, as this uh, spirit inhabits various forms uh, and chases, her around, chases him around the apartment, which even at an 82 minute film, ends up feeling a little bit long because there's a lot of uh, repetition in there. However, the last five minutes, I must say, were quite uh, impressive. A uh, really great score from Time Cop 1983, uh, arguably reminiscent of Stranger Things, uh, also makes this have a really excellent vibe. Um, there's some uh, narration uh, of the Wish of Desire that reminded me a little bit of Willem Dafoe. Uh, if you're tired of seeing these kinds of genre exercises where you're stuck in a house all night long or an apartment, like just recently, The Vigil or The Night, uh, you might feel a little bit bored. Uh, however, I think uh, Ezra Dewey is quite impressive as the young boy and uh, the, the last time we had a movie called The Gin or Gin was Toby Hooper's uh, final film in 2013, and in my mind, this uh, was a much more impressive exercise uh, utilizing that uh, supernatural element. Overall, I would give, <clears throat> excuse me, The Gin three out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.